Super Tuesday is here. Hundreds of delegates are up for grabs in 16 states and one territory. This is a live look at Massachusetts voting centers in Massachusetts, North Carolina and Virginia have been open for four hours now. In Colorado, the polls opened up at seven o'clock. Hundreds of delegates, as we said, are up for grabs for both Democrats and Republicans today. In Colorado, 37 Republican delegates and 72 Democratic delegates are at stake. And to talk more about this, we have Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold joining us. Thanks so much for taking the time out and joining our show. Thanks for having me on. Okay, so first, can you just explain the importance of Super Tuesday and why it's different this year? Absolutely. So every election, honestly, is important. It's the way that we're able to choose the folks who will represent us. And that, of course, has major ramifications on our local community, our state, and the entire country. Now, this Super Tuesday is a, a little different than normal um, because we just had a big Supreme Court case come down yesterday over whether or not Donald Trump is qualified to the ballot. The Supreme Court confirmed that he is, um, which I think is just a good decision going into today because so many people will be voting here in Colorado and across the country. So talk more about that. Do you think the Supreme Court's ruling on former President Trump staying on Colorado's primary ballot is going to affect voter turnout? We'll have to see. Uh, there are various things that can affect turnout. As of last night, turnout was at 1,085,000 in Coloradans who had already participated, uh, which puts us a, a little behind where we were in 2020. You know, what we'll see where we get, um, most recently, Coloradans have been a little late to get their ballots in, meaning they do it last minute, but before seven o'clock tonight. But there's various factors, including something such as the Supreme Court case, but also whether folks think there are actually big races in the primaries. So what would you tell someone who hasn't voted yet, maybe thinking about it on the fence and just doesn't know if they really want to? I would just say so many people have fought for our rights and our ability to live in this democracy. And it's such a privilege to be able to shape our national politics and, and what happens in local communities. On top of that, it is easy. Uh, so there are over 400 drop boxes open all across the state. There are over 150 voting centers. If you still have your mail ballot, just drop it off at a drop box or voting center before 7 p.m. Coloradans can always vote in person also and even register as long as they're at a voting center by 7 p.m. tonight. And to find all that information and your closest voting location, please visit GoVoteColorado.gov. Okay, that is all good information. We also have it on our website as well, cbscolorado.com. Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, thank you so much. Thank you.